On the lake, Walmart FLW pros face the stiffest competition and the most intense pressure, but they seldom have to endure it alone. The first three days of every tournament, they have a co-angler, a fellow fisherman who's competing right alongside, not against the pro, but against each other. And while they don't fish for a living, they do live for fishing. FLW co-anglers are perhaps sport's most hands-on fans. It's lunchtime for these four longtime co-anglers. A new tournament starts in less than 24 hours. So they're at this diner for a bite to eat and to discuss what might be biting tomorrow. Each has his own reasons for competing. Co-angler Doug Caldwell is Mayor Doug Caldwell when he's home in Kane, Pennsylvania. It's a town of about 4,000 people in the northwest part of the state. He's in his third term as mayor, but FLW fishing is what's governed his free time since the tour began. He just fished his 200th tournament. Uh, I do it for uh, uh, because I can, and, and at my age, uh, that's 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 a bonus. See, if I catch, that makes it even better. Todd Lee won the Forest Wood Cup as a co-angler. The Jasper, Alabama native probably has the talent to fish on the pro side, but he's seen firsthand who he'd be competing against. Those guys in the front of the boat are good. They're really good. I enjoy bass fishing but I have no desire to do it as a professional. You really have to catch them every stop to uh, be competitive, and there's no way I can do that. I'm, I'm not that competitive by nature. I enjoy going and hanging out with my buddies. If the draws work out and then I do a good job, then I've had a great week. Brandon Hunter is an up-and-coming co-angler who's working his way towards the front of the boat. It, it's obviously a, a, a dream of mine to be fishing the pro side, you know, in the, in the next couple of years. You know, I don't know when exactly that it'll click in my head. I'm ready to do this. Perhaps it's not too far off. His practice partner is Brent Ayler. And he won his first co-angler title on Kentucky Lake back in 2009, not very far from his home. I remember sitting in the crowd thinking, I want to do that. And I wasn't fishing the tour as a co-angler yet, and I said, I want to do that. I want, I want to win in front of my hometown crowd. That would be awesome. And, and that's what I got to do, and it, it, was, it was really cool. I still get emotional thinking about it. The transition from co to pro certainly isn't rare. In fact, reigning Forest Wood Cup champion Scott Martin was co-angler of the year back in 1999. He turned pro the very next year and has since won over $2 million on tour. That's a roadmap Ralph Milhausen wouldn't mind following. I'm not as young as some of the other folks that are here, but I have the desire to win and I have the desire to learn. And with those two desires and the backing of my family and their support, I, I will qualify to be in the top 10, and, and I'll be fishing out of the front of the boat one of these days on this surf. Even if he never makes it up front, he's still taking home something priceless. Family's uh, the most important thing uh, for us. We have uh, eight grandkids, and uh, of those eight grandkids, seven of them are grandsons, and they love to fish and I have the opportunity to give them something for the rest of their lives, fishing. And that's something every co-angler will tell you. The back of the boat is also a front row seat to watch the masters of the sport perform. It's outstanding. These, these folks uh, can teach you more in a day than you can learn in a month on the internet. That's the best learning experience you get. Go out there with them boys that, that do it for a living and watch them. And, and pick their brain. I won't say I'm real good at all techniques because I'm certainly not, but I doubt that there's a technique in bass fishing that I hadn't seen firsthand from one of the best fishermen in the world. In return, the pros get a net man and a sympathetic ear. Pro anglers and co-anglers are paired together by draw, which means each day of the tournament, co-anglers have a new partner and a new boat. The most difficult thing, I guess, about being a co-angler is having to get all your stuff in one little bag. <laughs> and with the pro up front fishing for the biggest money in the sport, he chooses where and when to fish, sometimes leaving the co-angler with limited strategic options. Versatility is the biggest thing. You've, you've got to learn to be versatile. You've got to be able to do it all in the back of the boat. If you're not, you're going to get, you're going to get beat every time. There's water out there, and the fish aren't all in one place. I mean, sometimes you get whacked. but. Uh, there's still opportunity, and, and you just try to get that opportunity. Coes will tell you it's a small price to pay to fully immerse yourself in the sport you love. 
just try not to get in their way. You know, if you get a guy that's flipping down the bank, don't don't be pitching up in front of them. You know, I hear horror stories of co-anglers throwing over the guy's line and this and that, and I, I don't want to be known as that co-angler. Well, there is a code of conduct, and it is unspoken, but um, or there is for me anyway. My job is to stay out of the pro's way and do the best I can with the water behind me. What kind of communication that's effective with them? Um, some guys like you to talk. Some guys don't want to hear a word. I would say, Know your place, and then stay in your place. Uh, don't compete with your pro. Make it, make it so your pro is successful, and they'll, eventually that will come around and help you. Good gosh, Bubba, you need that one, son. Yeah, boy. Give me some of that. Good job. Yeah. Most pros do their best to ensure their co-anglers have the best day possible. After all, they're fishing for prestigious oh, titles and big money, too. Good job. Competing is great, but what makes co-angling so special isn't just catching fish. It's also catching up with old friends, enjoying times like these. It's a fishing fraternity unlike any other. And if you're as committed as these guys, you don't have to take a back seat to anyone.